Oh, hey there. So in this question, we have been given a seven digit number, a 10 digit number and a 12 digit number. And we need to find how many digits does this product have? And if you look at the options, some of them have, say that they absolutely have just, there's just one possible outcome, which is just 27 digits or 28 digits. And two other options says, no, there can be 28 or 29 digits or 27, 28 or 29. So which of these should be the case, right? Should it have a fixed number of digits or should it vary? So in order to understand what, what it should be, let's look at two digit numbers. So the smallest two digit number here is 10 and the largest two digit number is 99. And if we actually multiply this with another two digit number, let's say I'll take the small product of two smallest two digit numbers and the two largest two digit numbers. That is 10 times 10 and nine times 99 times 99. So 10 times 10 is 100, right? This has three digits. And 99 times 99 is 9801. But this has four digits, which means if we take two, any number of digits number, the product will have varying number of digits very starting from the smallest one right up to the largest one the number of digits in the product might vary so this answers our question that it should be either c or d it should have a varying number of digits so which should it be so common sense dictates that it should be d because there are three numbers in play and there can be three possible outcomes but let's see if that's actually the case so Let's start with the smallest seven digit number. So the smallest seven digit number is one followed by one, two, three, four, five, six, six zeros, right? And I can write it in the exponent notation saying it's 10 power six. And similarly, the smallest 10 digit number is one followed by nine zeros, which can be written as 10 to the power nine. And the smallest 12 digit number is one followed by 11 zeros, which is 10 to the power 11. So the smallest possible product is 10 to the power 6 times 10 to the power 9 times 10 to the power 11, right? That's the smallest product possible, which also can be written as 10 to the power 6 plus 9 plus 11, which is 10 to the power 26, right? Now, how many digits does 10 to the power 26 have? So 10 to the power 26 is one followed by 26 zeros right one followed by 26 zeros which means that it should have 27 digits right so the smallest possible product has 27 digits let's keep that aside and look at the greatest possible product now yeah so here we are so the, now the greatest seven digit number is seven nines right no nine 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 now if you look at 99 I can also write it as 100 minus 1, right? It's less than 100 by 1 and 100 can be written as 10 square. So if I write this as 10 square minus 1, this 2 will represent the number of zeros, the number of 9s I have in the number, right? So following the same logic, I can write this as 10 to the power 7 minus 1, right? It is 10 to the power number of 9s minus 1. Awesome, it's 10 to the power 7 minus 1. All right, when we have the greatest 7 digit number as 10 to the power 7 minus 1, the greatest 10 digit number will be 10 to the power 10 minus 1, and the greatest 12 digit number will be 10 to the power 12 minus 1. Right, too many redundant numbers, but okay. All right, now if we look at the greatest possible product, I can write it as 10 to the power 7 minus 1 times 10 to the power 10 minus 1 times 10 to the power 12 minus 1 right which can be written as 10 to the power 7 minus 10 times 10 to the power 10 times 10 to the power 12 minus some number x and this number x let's come back to that so let me add these three things it will be 10 to the power 7 plus 10 plus 12 which is 10 to the power 29 minus the x of course now unless this x so okay i'm losing my flow of thoughts 
So in this case, 10 to the power 29 has 30 digits, right? It's one followed by 29 zeros, which means it is th it has 30 digits. Now, unless this x is 9 times 10 to the power 28, then up this product will have 29 digits, right? Unless, so let I'll, I'll give you an example. What is 100 minus 11? It's 89. It's a two digit number. Unless this number is greater than 90, the, the difference between a three digit number and a smaller number than that will be a two, two digit number. So if we actually unwrap this, we'll find that x is actually less than 9 times 9 times 10 to the power 28, which means the number of digits in this product is actually 29, right? Let me erase this to make it beautiful. So the number of digits in the greatest possible product is 29, which can mean just one thing. The product can have either 27, 28 or 29 digits and that's what our answer is, right? So this is how you approach this question. Good luck.